Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Chasing a Dream. Schizophrenia and Chasing a Dream, but before we chase, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. <laughs> and hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I'm not. I'm not. And I've been around a few preludes in my years. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude's got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a little NBA action. That's basketball. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Where me and the bird... That's Mike, he's a right. He flies right. in the sun, that's what he does. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score 5 and 1. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Advancing down the jib. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now, now to, to, topic. Topic. To, to topic. To topic. To topic. What happens from childhood to adulthood when we're, chi when we're children we're filled with dreams, aren't we? And when we get adults, become adults, we have no dreams. Why is that? It's bizarre, isn't it? For example, when I was a kid from ages, let's say ages 4 to 14, I was... Uh, obsessed with becoming a uh, a professional basketball player. <laughs> and when I got a little older, I understood that my athleticism wasn't going to carry the weight. But the idea is, why don't we have dreams in, uh, in adulthood? And the reason that I say that um, to chase a dream in adulthood is because it provides such great motivation. If you have a dream or something that inspires you, something that you want to do, something that really lights your fire, some activity or, or otherwise hobby or whatever, if you have that in your life, then you have all the motivation you need. I mean, every day you have uh, that spark to want to get through the day and do the things that you really, really enjoy. It makes all the tougher times uh, tolerable and you push towards that dream, that very thing that you want to do or that you want to accomplish. Having a dream is probably the ultimate motivation. It is so motivational. And of course, all, all matters always apply with schizophrenia. You know, if you have a dream of wellness, then that's a good dream. There's myriads of dreams, unending like NBA action, go Boston Celtics. Uh, basketball's coming around again in a couple weeks, and uh, that is grand. I get to uh, relive my dreams through uh, vicariously through the Boston Celtics. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time.